Hi, this is Tracy H. I want to thank you for joining me today for another Oracle and Tarot card deck review. And today I'm going to review the Chronicles of Destiny Fortune cards. And this is by Josephine Ellershaw and Emily Ellershaw, an artwork by Claudia McKinney. And the packaging is just beautiful. It looks like an actual book. Okay, and I love the way it opens. You have a little ribbon here. Just pull that. And inside you have your book and you have your cards. Beautiful, beautiful packaging. Let's take a look at the book first. Okay, we have a matte finish on the book. Nice, durable cover. Looks like a very well-made book. And inside, okay, we're going to have some acknowledgments. You have your table of contents. Okay, an introduction to the cards, how to use the card set, and then we're going to go right into the card. You can have a beautiful color picture here, okay, and it's going to give you a card definition and description, and this is going to go through each and every card, okay, and this book actually tells a story about each and every one of the cards. And it tells you what the moral of the story is, which is nice down here. You can see that. Okay. And it's going to go through all of the cards. And there are quite a bit of cards. I believe there's 60 cards in this deck. Let me just check here. Yes. All the way up to the 60th card. Okay. And so it also shows you some card spreads. Very, very nice book. Very well made. Um, nicer than the regular little leaflets that you get that are just maybe four, uh, four pages of English and then four pages of other languages. Very nice. And again, the box is, is very sturdy. Very impressed with the packaging. The packaging means a lot to me. And now let's take a look at the cards. Uh, as we see, we have the golded edges, the gilding. Okay. And look at how beautiful the artwork is on these cards. I hope that the camera is picking up on this. They're very dark cards, so it's not so much the lighting. They are very dark. And the card stock on them is nice. It's decent card stock. And the backs of them are very interesting. I like the design on the back. Okay, so we have number one. The Enchanted Emporium, two, Guardian of the Books, three, The Hero, four, The Heroine, three, Dreams. Don't you just love that picture? Look at the woods in the back. It's kind of like foggy and mysterious. That was five, Dreams, yes. Six, The Call. Again, beautiful. Seven, Whispering Hall. And again, it's very dark and enchanted, these, these pictures. Very nice. The Elder. Accepting the Quest. The Adventure. And these cards are stuck together because of the gilding. Here we go. Eleven, Innocence. Twelve, the light bear. Thirteen, time flies. Fourteen, distant shores. Fifteen, the lighthouse. It reminded me of the tower when I first glanced at it. Very beautiful. I love lighthouses. Sinking ship. Again, beautiful, mysterious, foggy, dreary with the waves and the ship. Beautiful artwork. 17, Shore of Trials. 18, Road to Nowhere. 19, Pegasus. 20, The Warlock. And 21, The Baroness. Again, they're very dark pictures. The macabre, no, the masquerade. 
<laughs> the Masquerade, and is that amazing? I love this card. The Songbird, she's trapped in this cage, this bird cage. The Dragon. Downfall. Sorrow. Word on Wing. Forest Labyrinth. The Gatekeeper. Balance. The Dreamcatcher. Waterfall. The Fellowship. Interlude. Shooting Star. Kissed. Polaris. Weaver of Words. Resolve. And again, I'm not crazy about the gilding when this happens. But what are you going to do, right? The cards are beautiful anyway. 39 Resolve. 40 Phoenix. 41 Conflict. Victory. And there's such emotion on the faces on these cards. Book of Destiny. Ruler of the Realm. Knighthood. Treasure, Union, Bliss, and you could just feel the emotion. 49 is Calendar, Alchemy, The Butterfly Queen, Castle, very mysterious castle. There's a woman here. Review, Mastery, Lady Spring, Lady Summer, Lady Autumn, Lady Winter, Hero. And lastly, card 60, the heroine. It looks like there's a symbol down here. I'm going to have to read that. I'm going to have to read what that means. It looks like a 33, but I'm not sure. It's like in a script type of writing. But I cannot wait to read the book to find out what the story is behind these cards. I just received these about 20 minutes ago. I was anxious to make a video and uh, to share these with you. Uh, as far as the shuffling, very easy to shuffle. And I like the fact that they're average size cards, that they're not too big. I'm thinking maybe of trimming the border off of them because I'm not crazy about how the gilding makes them stick together. I don't want it to damage the cards because sometimes the gilding will pull on the edges and I'm not thrilled with that. But other than that, a very, very beautiful deck, well-made packaging, really nice handy guidebook that's also well-made and fabulous artwork. Um, I'm so happy with this purchase. I'm glad that I did get them. And uh, this will be a welcome addition to my ever-growing card deck collection. If you've enjoyed this review, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.